Heaven's Design Team is about a group of people who may or may not be angels, at least one of them is an angel, who God has outsourced the creation of all animals to. And so God will give them a prompt, and then they have to find an animal that fits close enough to the prompt. The primary struggle that the characters go through is making sure that the animal will survive in nature rather than actually following the prompt that God gives as vague as those prompts are usually because God basically never rejects anything. I think there's only one instance in the entire show of which I forget how many animals were actually submitted where God actually outright rejects an animal. He just automatically accepts basically everything that goes through as long as it can physically exist on Earth. And the show gets very heavily into, I would, I suppose I would say biology, I'm not quite sure what the term would be for this, of various animals and why animals have certain features and why certain features wouldn't work. And a general prompt that most episodes will do is that God will give them the prompt that they have to work off of, and then they'll come up with a famous mythological creature, like a dragon or a unicorn or like something like that. And then they have to figure out why these mythical folklore creature designs don't work and wouldn't exist in nature. And then they have to sort of reverse engineer something that actually physically would work and is usually a completely different animal but usually at least still functional. Admittedly, I don't know the most about animal biology, so I'm not sure how accurate the show is. I didn't really hear anything that I would find inherently disagreeable, although it did feel like they were really trying to make unicorns not work, and I'm a little skeptical that unicorns are that hard to make work. I don't... I. I, I struggle to believe that the addition of a horn would cause nearly as many problems as they actually say, but regardless. Otherwise, the show basically follows that same formula every episode. The thing that really stands out about Heaven's design team is that the character designs are all pretty striking and really good, and all of the characters themselves are distinct and have their own personalities, and you can basically figure out how they would respond to any given scenario. They're not particularly well developed, I should say, and it's not really a focus of the show. The primary focus of the show is animal development. And so the cast ends up feeling a little flat, despite them all being visually and personality-wise distinct. The big thing dragging down the show is actually how formulaic it is because every episode is basically the same. Sometimes there's deviations. I would say the most interesting episode in the entire show is when one of the main characters ends up going into, like, the world of the mole rats, where he sees all of the mole rats as women, and that is actually a pretty interesting episode because it diverts from the formula. There is also an episode where they have to investigate someone who got hit in the head, but that that's uh it wasn't very good if i'm being honest with you and so it is interesting to learn about animals but coming from an anime i am skeptical at the accuracy of this and i don't know enough to verify what they're saying is true or not and because it is so much about animal biology it almost feels like i would get the same if not a better experience reading a textbook or watching a nature documentary where I can see actual doctors talk about it. And at the very least, if the doctors are wrong, at least I got wrong information from a doctor rather than wrong information from an anime. Twitch and Discord in the description. I've been Sacrobolic, your Envoy of Hope. Bye-bye!